President Xi's top economic policy aide stopped by the meeting. Now, did he did he just stick his head in? Did, was he there for five minutes? Was he there for? Ten? Do you know? Did did, did did we read anything into this that it's gotten higher than mid level? Well, as far as we know, there is no word that has come out of these meetings. Two days of talks, the working level uh, involving that U.S. trade delegation with Chinese officials, and not one word that would hint at constructive dialogue or even progress. Now, nobody was expecting a breakthrough in these talks. Um, the, the fact that they happened was seen as a success. So the best case scenario is that there would be some sign that Chinese officials in the coming weeks will head to Washington for another round of talks. But the, the differences between these two sides are, are very deep and very fundamental. The U.S. is effectively looking to change the, uh, Chinese business practices. And there's that March 1st deadline that is looming. In terms of reading into the situation, our best guide here is usually newspaper editorials, uh, which give a sense of how the political leadership is thinking. And the editorials today were all effectively warning the U.S. against demand too much from China. And then there was that other sideshow, which was a very strong message from China. Kim Jong-un literally rolling into town on an armored train to have his fourth meeting with Chinese President Xi Jinping on his birthday, no less. The timing of this is no coincidence with the U.S. trade delegation here. Uh, this was perhaps a way for China to remind the United States that if it's looking eventually for any sort of nuclear deal or a road to negotiation with North Korea, that road is going to go through Beijing. So this seemed a counterpoint to those comments by President Trump that the U.S. held the advantage in these talks because China's economy was slowing down. It's true, uh, growth is softening here, but this was definitely China trying to uh, reclaim the upper hand and that if it is going to offer concessions in any sort of trade deal, those concessions are not going to come quickly or easily.